it's like 80% of fights are really just you projecting your own insecurities on someone else's actions and having them be accountable for so you have something to yell at. What are you looking at? What's your problem? Hey everybody, welcome to Hashtag Relationship Goals. My name's Winnie, this is Evan. We're in a relationship. And today we're talking about fights. Ding, ding. Oh man. Why do people fight? What a loaded topic, fighting. I mean, everything you dislike about someone else right off the top, no matter what relationship you're in, is something of yourself that you don't like. Like, that's just the basic of it. Because there's more shit that you should be saying to yourself ever than what you say to someone else. Oh, he is just like, you just knocked it out the park. Thank you. We're not fighting about how we feel about fights. Fighting is inevitable. You are not going to be in a relationship where you don't fight ever. That's just not going to happen. To know how to do it properly or how to get through it is going to be super helpful. No one does it fair either. No by, one fights fair. By accident, nobody fights fair because when you fight, your whole intention is to win. And then it's just the choice if you want to win the battle or you want to win the war. Very seldom do you win twice. If you do all the winning, you'll be alone most likely because nobody just wants to lose all the time. So in a true loving fight, you're trying to find the other person's perspective so you can win. Eventually win by observing your own behavior and seeing how that caused the fight. Yeah, so let's use an example. Um, you're out with your significant other and your significant other starts... Um... Smoking weed in the car in front of your parents. <laughs> that would make you want to fight with him, right? But no, when he's totally fine with it. I was going to go a completely different direction, going... but it is good to use examples from our life. There was a time where you were so open with your marijuana smoking that you like didn't give a fuck where you did it. That pissed me off. Yo, hold on. I'm even more now. <laughs> You've grown, not me. Uh, I think that we've come to, this is so good. I think that we've come to a really beautiful compromise. For sure. I am just more polite with the interest of being a gentleman at all times. But not because of you needing me to hide it from people who don't approve of it. That has nothing to do with why my behaviors change. It's more so me just finding the core root in myself of like, I don't ever want to be mistaken for not a gentleman. And you found that out because of my feelings are fight. Our fight. <laughs> there we go. Nice. Exactly. <laughs> so fighting can actually be a really healthy thing. <laughs> that was a full circle. <laughs> We're telling you to go fight. <laughs> I think in any relationship, there's en there's energy that's going to be built up, and if especially if you're living together. Yes. Another human being with a universe of their own in the same physical space as you. Yeah. We sort of had a fight yesterday. We fight a little bit every day. <laughs> Get it out in little spurts. Yeah. So <laughs> hey, this is this is great. Then that's yeah. a great tip. Like if something happens in your relationship that makes you feel a certain way. Mm -hmm. Don't like just ignore it and be like, whatever, like. The muscle, the value of fighting is to grow the fuck up and let it go. Fighting is a muscle. To think that you're not gonna have disagreements, you're just an uh, ignorant perspective trying to hold on to that because you're insecure about your ability to express yourself. You hope for not fights, but it's like, no. As long as everyone has the same good intention to everyone get somewhere together, tr friction is good, baby. You yeah. just gotta let it go and not let it feel so heavy on you. Like a couple great tips for fighting would be like really listen to one another. And that's hard. Oh, that is hard. You don't want to take in information because you feel like <laughs> you are, it's your time to speak now. And most of the information that you're getting from one another is at first like blaming the other person. Oh, and it's just these big haymakers <laughs> that you've had like waiting over here. They've been pissing you off and pissing you off and pissing you off. And you're like, oh yeah, Here's, I want to say this for five months. Whack! <laughs> so do your best to really listen. 
try to just understand the perspective. Even if you're like, holy shit, this person's fucking insane. I have to leave them. That's the quickest route to it. Understand them. So when Evan and I first started making some good adjustments to the way that we fight, a lot of it would look like this. I understand where you're coming from. <laughs> my opinion, my opinion, my opinion, my opinion. And then he would say, I understand where you're coming from, <laughs> but my opinion, my facts, my facts that are more important than your opinion. And so we would bounce off each other like that until we could sort of really start to actually understand where where we're coming from. Sometimes, you know, technique moves the spirit. Yeah. You're not gonna have like, oh, here's all my forgiveness, and then I'm taking this understanding and whip this up and package it up with a bow, and we can go. No, it's like, sometimes you gotta be like. <sighs> <laughs> Another tip for fighting is never go to bed angry. This has been one that we've struggled with because Winnie goes to bed at 4 p.m. <laughs> so I have a very small time frame <laughs> to try to wrap my own emotions up so I can apologize to her. Go tickle them or something. Because sleeping, your subconscious starts to manifest things. Our fighting has actually evolved into how we can resolve this the fastest. Efficiency through all this dust there's something there. Can we get past this? How can we do that? What's the fastest way there? What can I learn? Go inward for sure when you're fighting and just just for take a moment. How can I see this differently? Because you're so stuck in the way that you feel and think right now that you can't even take in the information. Along with like understanding compassionately that in their world, they are right because you're a collection of all these memories and experiences that you've had. They are right, and you're right. Have a good time. After you fought, truly forgive. And when there's high emotions at stake, I ended up getting really angry at Evan. He was able to reflect to me how I was acting, and then I was able to say, look, I'm just really scared right now, and I need some compassion. She told me what to do through all your own emotion. Give instructions. Same, like, don't be scared to give instructions. And don't be scared to be vulnerable, to say what's really going on. Maybe you're scared to lose someone in the relationship. Maybe you're scared to be wrong. Maybe you were always wrong growing up in your life and you ha that's a trigger that you have. So you start to learn more about yourself through these fights. I'd say the number one thing, just to kind of wrap it up, try your best not to walk away. You might as well have never fought in the first place with someone that you're willing to walk away from. You guys, was that helpful? Did you like our relationship goals on fights? Give us a thumbs up. And give us a fighting chance. And don't fight the urge. Say that you fought the good fight. All right. See you next time. Yo, when you want to have a fight and you want to do it right, but you can't, motherfucker, but you can't because you're so pissed off. So pissed off, motherfucker, pissed off. Yeah, pissed off.